how do we score points for our team? And that can be through new partnerships, new deals, new ideas, all kinds of ways that we can score points for our team. But we have to ask. You know, we don't get anything if we don't ask for it. The thing that's tricky for women is how we ask. In my experience, if you ask with too much vigor, too much um, assertiveness, you can be called one of those B words of which boss is the nicest one. <laughs> so in my book, I talk about something I call being artfully assertive. And it's asking with backbone, but in a way that doesn't break somebody's back. And I tell a story. When we were building HGTV, I was the lucky person who was responsible for assigning the cubes and the offices. <laughs> Do not take this job if you're ever offered it. It's not, there's no winning in this job. So after this happened, a woman named Robin knocked on my door and said, I want to talk to you about why I got a cube instead of an office. I said, go for it. And she started to tell me about her job. And she said, I have to train. Where am I going to train? And it's going to be noisy, and it's going to be disruptive. I have to have conversations about partnerships that are confidential. Where am I going to ha She had four or five reasons that were all about the good of the company. She asked in a way that wasn't about her. And, I mean, this comes to us, but we sometimes forget it. If you can ask what you need, do you need capital, do you need people, do you need technology, what do you need to be successful, do you need a promotion? Ask in a way that is always framed on how the company will benefit. 